Hello, welcome to Wits In. Today we're continuing our compliment series and we're going to be talking about direct objects. I made this video uh, in the library and Miss Bunch was there and so uh, she's going to be the star of this video. A direct object is a noun, pronoun, or word group that tells who or what receives the action of the verb. So let's look at the two questions we ask to figure out if there's a direct object. One of the questions we can ask to find a direct object is whom. So in this sentence, he hit Miss Bunch, he is the subject, hit is the action verb. And then he hit whom? Miss Bunch. So Miss Bunch is the direct object of this sentence. Let's take a look at another one. We can ask the question what to find the direct object. Miss Bunch is our subject, formed is our verb, it's an action verb, so we could say Miss Bunch formed what? Smile. So smile in this case would be the direct object. Remember, a, an, and the, those are articles, and they are not a part of the direct object. Direct objects can also be compound. Let's take a look at some examples. Miss Bunch graded some quizzes and tests. Now in this case, we would ask the question what? Miss Bunch graded what? Quizzes and tests. So we have a compound direct object. The word quizzes and the word tests are both part of our direct object. In another example, she saw some bad grades, missing work, and messy handwriting. In this case, we have three direct objects. She saw what? Grades, work, and handwriting. All right, let's practice with a few more sentences. I love science. I love what? Science. Science is the direct object. We did an experiment. We did what? Experiment. Experiment is the direct object. I burned my eyebrows and nose hairs. I burned what? Eyebrows and nose hairs. So this is a compound direct object. All right, before we wrap up, we've got a couple of nevers to go over. Direct objects will never follow a linking verb. Let's look at some examples. She became a teacher. She's the subject. Became is a linking verb and it's connecting the noun teacher back to she. It's renaming she. So in this case, a teacher is not the direct object. Let's look at another example. They felt sick. They's our subject. Felt is our linking verb. And sick is a adjective describing they. So sick in this case is being linked to they using the linking verb felt. Okay, you're also never gonna find a direct object inside of a prepositional phrase. I ate in my kitchen at the counter. Okay, ate is our action verb, but there's nothing that we ate in the sentence. Instead, it's telling us with two prepositional phrases where we ate. In my kitchen is the first prepositional phrase. At the counter is the second prepositional phrase. So there's no direct object here. The second example, I dropped off the grid and out of touch. Once again, we've just got two prepositional phrases. We didn't actually drop anything. Instead, we dropped off the grid and out of touch. Off the grid and out of touch are prepositional phrases. So in neither one of these sentences do we have a direct object. Okay, just a reminder, a direct object is a noun, pronoun, or word group that tells who or what receives the action of the verb. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll be able to find all those direct objects out there. Thanks for joining us at Wits End.